Welcome to the Creating Matching Questions in the Question Library demo. First, log in to your Desire to Learn account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, click on the Assessments link. Notice the tabs at the top, Manage Assessments, Question Library, and Statistics. Click on the Question Library tab. Click on the section name to go into its folder. From the New drop-down button, click on the question type you want to create. To create a matching question, pick that option from the New drop-down button. You can leave the title of the question blank. Doing so, will make the question text show up as the title. You can leave the points value set to 1. This number can be changed later when you create your assessment. Click in the question text field and enter in your question. Example, match the activity to the tool. If you want to add an image to go along with this question only, click the Insert an Image button and locate the image on your computer, and then click the Add button. For grading, you have the options of Equally Weighted, All or Nothing, or Right Minus Wrong. If you want the question graded as they either got it right or wrong, use the all or nothing choice. If you want the question graded with partial credit, choose one of the other two options. In the Choices Value section, you type in the choices. Example, Discussion Board, Assessments, Click on Add Choices to add a value. Dropbox Content Grades In the Matches Value section, you type in the matches. Example, post a message, turn in homework, click on add match to add a value. Take a quiz view course materials view scores on assignments here is an example for grading this is a question with five choices and let's say the student answered three of them correctly. Using the all or nothing choice, the answer is either all correct or wrong. The student didn't get all of the answers, so he would score a zero for this question. For the other two options, the student can get partial credit. Each of the question choices are worth one-fifth of the points because there are five answers. An answer that was supposed to be chosen and was chosen is counted right. In this example, of the five possible answers, the student chose three right answers and two wrong answers. Using the right minus wrong option, the student will score 
three-fifths minus two-fifths equals one-fifth of the points for that question, which is 20%. Using the equally weighted option, the student will only score right answers, or three-fifths of the points, which is 60%. Click on the preview button to see what the question will look like to the student. Click the Done button to return to the question. When you are finished making changes, click on the Save button in the bottom left hand corner and you will return to the section list. If you want to create another question very similar to this one, click on the Save and Copy button. That will save this question and create another one with all of this question's information so that you can edit this information instead of retyping it. If you want to create another question of this same type, click on the Save and New button. That will save this question and give you a new blank question of this question type. You have now successfully created a matching question in the question library. To return to the question library, Click on the Question Library breadcrumb trail, or click on the Done Editing Questions button to return to the Assessments tool.